Hi, Yossi Tesone here with another tip for Avid Media Composer. Today I'm going to show you how to use sync point editing, which is amazing for those situations when you need to synchronize a particular frame to the audio or a particular music beat to the video that you already have in the timeline. It sure beats dragging stuff around with segment mode. So here it is. Check it out. Sync point editing. I have here in the timeline a series of still images which I've animated with a resize and you can see that between the stills I have a white flash. And I would like to put some music in here but synchronize a cymbal crash that is in the music right to the white flash that I have between the stills. Here's the music, I'm going to play it so you can identify the cymbal crash. So I want the symbol crash to happen exactly where I have the white flash between the two images. To do that, first of all, I'm going to toggle the timeline to display what I have currently loaded in the source monitor. I'm going to do that by clicking on the toggle source record button in the timeline. And when you click on it, it turns green and the playhead is green, indicating that you are now looking at what you have loaded in the source monitor. You can clearly see the symbol crash now. And what I'm going to do is mark my initial in and out for the part of the music that I want and then I'll move the playhead and leave it parked right on the cymbal crash. Once you have it in position toggle back to display the sequence and I'm going to patch the source to my music tracks and by the way if you want to learn how to rename tracks and move them around in the timeline check out my tip on how to manage timeline tracks. Now to synchronize the music into the sequence, all I need to do is park the playhead right at the position where I want the cymbal crash and activate sync point editing. And you can do that by right clicking on the override button, sync point editing, or from the special menu, sync point editing. When you do so, a little orange light turns on underneath the override button indicating that sync point editing is now active. And all you have to do is hit the Override button. So here we go, Override. And you can see that it placed the symbol crash exactly at the location that I wanted. Let me play this back and you can see that it's perfectly in position. Pretty cool. Now, when you're done, just don't forget to deactivate sync point editing by right clicking on it again. Otherwise, your override button might behave a little weird and unexpected. So that's how we synchronize sound effects to video in the timeline. And that's our tip of the day.